Communication Long Ago and Today by Lindsay O'Brien. Communication in our world. People love to find new ways to communicate. Long ago, people used bits of clay to pass on news and keep track of information. They passed messages through facial expressions and by making shapes with their hands. Today, tools like computers send messages across the world. Communication has changed a lot over time. Computer, an electronic machine used to store and manage information and do calculations. Making a mark, ancient times, 30,000 BC to AD 1000. Early people liked to draw. They wrote on cave walls and pots. They drew animals and people. They also painted hieroglyphics. The first letters were made 5,000 years ago. They came from China and Italy. Today, people find stones carved with these old letters. Hieroglyphics. Pictures used by early people to communicate. Words on a page. Late Middle Ages, 1000 to 1775. People started making paper in Europe around 1200. Early books were copied by hand. They cost a lot of money. Johann Gutenberg invented the printing press in 1446. This machine copied typed pages quickly. Some kids began to use books as families could keep books in their homes. Johann Gutenberg inspecting his work. Moving messages, the age of revolution, 1775 to 1850. People first moved mail by hand around 1775. The Pony Express began in the United States in 1860. Riders on horseback delivered mail across the country. People later used boats, trains, and planes. Long ago, it took weeks to get mail over oceans. Now, it takes just a few days with planes. The rise of the telephone and the telegraph. The turn of the 20th century, 1850 to 1910. Telephones were invented in the late 1800s. They let voices travel by wires. People could call a doctor, the police, or family members. Whole streets had just one phone number at first. The phone rang in all houses on the party line. Fact. The telegraph came out in the mid-1800s. It used a code called Morse code. SOS was the code for help. Telegraph. A machine that uses electrical signals to send messages over long distances. 
Philo's Fancy, The Telecommunication Age, 1910-1970. In the early 1900s, many people began to buy radios for their homes. Both adults and kids listened to radio shows for fun. They also listened for news of wars and other important events. In 1921, 14-year-old Philo T. Farnsworth had an idea. His idea used a spot of light. The light made pictures that moved. This led to the first TVs. Fact. Today, many TVs use satellites. Information on Earth is sent to satellites in space. Those signals are sent back to TVs all over the world. Teacher and students watching TV in 1954. Satellite, a spacecraft that circles the Earth to gather and send information. Computers, the information age, 1970 to present. Early computers were as big as entire rooms. Smaller home computers were new in the 1970s. The internet became popular in the 1990s. Cell phones soon appeared too. People now communicate every day using computers and smartphones. They use smartphones for calls, sending text messages and emails to get information and for fun. Internet, a system that connects computers all over the world. Smartphone, a phone that also functions as a computer. Communication in the future. Computers may one day be even tinier than they are today. They could be as small as the head of a pin. New computers already scan eyes and show people's names and information using these scans. People may even use electric pulses in their brains to communicate. The world changes fast. We can only guess how people will communicate in the future. Timeline. Communication. Historical. 38,000 B.C. First known cave paintings. 2700 BC. First alphabets. 2500 BC. Great pyramids built in ancient Egypt. AD 937. England becomes a nation. 1200. Paper first available in Europe. 1440. Invention of printing press. 1775. U.S. Postal Service starts. 1775 to 1783. American Revolutionary War. 1861, invention of telegraph. 1861 to 1865, American Civil War. 1876, 
first telephone call. 1914 to 1918, World War I. 1920, first U.S. radio broadcasts. 1935, first TVs. 1939 to 1945, World War II. 1950s, start of human space exploration. 1957, first communication satellite in use. 1969, Man lands on the moon. 1980s. First home computers. 1990s. Internet gains popularity. Hubble Space Telescope launched into space. 2001. First smartphones. 2013. First smart watches. Amazing but true. History's most famous messenger. A Greek man named Pheidippides once carried an important message. He ran more than 25 miles, 40 kilometers, to Athens from the city of Marathon. His job was to share the news that the Greek army had won an important battle. He was so tired when he got to Marathon that he fell down and died. People now run 26.2 mile, 42.2 kilometer, Races called marathons in his honor. Hands on. Make an aluminum can telephone. What you need. Two empty aluminum cans with top lids removed. Ten feet, three meters of string. Small nail. Hammer. A friend, an adult. What you do. One, take the open end of one can. Place it on a table or on the floor. Ask an adult to use the hammer and nail to make a hole in the bottom of the can. Repeat this with the other can. Two, thread one end of the string through one hole. Make a knot in the string on the inside of the can. Repeat with the other can and the other end of the string. The cans should be connected. Three, hold one can. Give the other to your friend. Walk away from each other until the string is tight. Speak into the open end of one can. Your friend should listen to the open end of the other can. Then switch roles. Can you hear your friend? Does the sound change with a longer string? Try to talk from down a long hall or between rooms. Can you still hear each other?